Hey, Drew. Um, good to see you again. Uh, sorry if this kind of is something you haven't thought a whole lot about yet, but being a senior and having the opportunity to possibly come back next year, uh, can you walk me through how you'll uh, approach that whole situation whenever the time comes to, to think about what you're going to do? Yeah. Uh, so obviously that's a, um, you know, a huge decision. Uh, I, I've put a lot of thought into it actually. Uh, and, and I, I, I do kind of have my, my, my mind made up, but, but I don't, I don't really think this is the place to discuss it uh, right now, but, but the, the process was, you know, a lot of consulting, you know, people that I, that I trusted, you know, a lot of talking to my family, um, talking to coaches, um, you know, uh, doing a little bit of praying, you know, trying to figure out, you know, what was the, what was the right path or what, what will be the right path moving forward. How much have you and the other seniors on the team kind of talked about that this season? Has that been a common common discussion given that it's just so new? Yeah, yeah. I mean, I think it comes up pretty much every day. Uh, mm -hmm. I mean, talking about that. I mean, it's just such a uh, such a different situation. You know, you don't. It's it, it's kind of unprecedented. You know, never never really happened before. Uh, so we you know we discuss it, you know, quite often. I think. And uh, and does that make you approach Senior Day any differently, knowing that maybe it won't be your last home game? Uh, no, I, I don't think so. I try to approach every game the same, um, you know, just trying to, you know, have a great week, great week of preparation, and, and you know, following the same routine. Um, so so I wouldn't I wouldn't say that that it uh, it really has changed any. Um, it has changed the way that I, I approach this game. Okay, and one one actual football question for you. Um, what were you guys doing in that first half to get so much um, penetration into Baylor's backfield? Yeah, uh, I think that the coaches really had a really great plan, um, and, and you know we were able to execute it pretty well there in the in the in the first half. Um, that we, we, you know, we all week we'd been talking about you know doing some movement, trying to get the the target you know off the uh, off the D lines back. You know, um, we're gonna we're gonna move around a little bit. We're gonna throw some blitzes in there. We're gonna do some. Do some do some stuff to really uh, you know kind of mix it up up front, uh, and, and I think that the coaches really just had a, a, a really good plan there, um, and, and in the first half we executed it pretty well. All right, thanks, Drew. Good luck this week. Thank you, Michael. Yeah, Drew. How would you best attribute uh, the defensive line's ability to flourish this season as a unit? Yeah, I think uh, you know a lot of the credit goes to uh, to Coach Buddy White and Coach Coach Tui. I think Coach Tui's put the D tackles in particular in, in a really good spot, and he's really uh, been able to uh, do a lot in terms of, of preparing us for the games and making sure that we know you know what to look for and and that we're you know physically ready to go. Um, I think that we've had uh, you know obviously a lot of the success. It helps to have White Hubert on the on the D line. He attracts a lot of attention. I mean, you know, when, when teams pull up the, the game film on Sunday, you know, he sticks out. Uh, and so he helps us all, you know, be better. But, you know, everybody's been been having, you know, a really, really pretty solid season. I think Eli Huggins doesn't get enough credit for, for the ball that he's playing. Uh, I think he's a he's a great competitor and a, and a great defensive tackle. And from the game Saturday, the personal foul call that got tagged on you. Did you get an on-field explanation for what all seven officials did not see? <laughs> I never got an on-field explanation. I wasn't really, you know, I didn't really push very hard for one. Um, I didn't really feel it was my place. Um, I, I was a little puzzled by the call, but, um, you know, that, that I you know, left that to, to the coaches and to the officials. And is there an on-field captain that the coaches have instructed you guys to be the communicator with officials, or do they leave that to the you leave, delete, leave that to the sideline? Uh, we do have we do have captains on the field that, that communicate with officials. Typically, those are uh, like Wyatt and uh, and uh, Jay Ball, who are, who serve as actual caption captains or serve as team captains. Uh, and Eli Sullivan would be one of those as well. Thanks, Drew. Thank you. Ryan. Hey, uh, Drew, there's been multiple times in the past month that uh, when he's met with the media, uh, Joe Klanderman said that he wouldn't trade you for uh, another defensive lineman in the Big 12. Uh, does how, how much does that mean to you when you hear 
you know, your defense coordinator repeatedly telling people that publicly, not just hearing it. Like, I know it's one thing to hear it in team meetings or things like that, but to actually have him go out and publicly state this to, to, to the world multiple times. Uh, I mean, it's uh, really, really humbling, you know, uh, to have that said about you. Um, I, I really appreciate, you know, Coach Kleinerman and everything he's done uh, and everything he's said about me. But, but I really, you know, I, I appreciate the, um, you know, the praise. But, but I think there's, there's a, it, it should be spread around too. You know, I think Eli Huggins is playing great football. I think Jalen Picklin, D. Hens have, have showed up when we needed him too. Obviously, Wyatt and, and Khalid and and Bronson and and uh, Kamari too. You know. There's a, I think it's, it's been a whole, a whole unit, you know, effort or, or a whole position effort. And, and uh, I think uh, it, it just, it should be, you know, spread around. I think everybody's been playing really good, really good football up front. And for yourself, I mean, did you, did you always see yourself being able to, to kind of have this kind of season or have you even surprised yourself at times with how well you've played? Um, yeah, I think I've probably surprised myself a little bit. Uh, I've always felt that I'm, you know, capable of, of, uh, you know, capable of, of doing more. Uh, and I, I still think that I, there's, you know, I'm not playing as well as I could, you know, I still think that there's, there's room to grow and, and, uh, and get better. Um, but yeah, it's been a, it's been a real honor, a real, you know, this season has been a real blessing.